hello friends welcome to java swing tutorial in this video we are going to see the eclipse demo so let's quickly review uh, the video slide decks from uh, part 1 and part 2 then we will continue with this uh, part 3 eclipse demo This one we talked in part one. We talked about the menu item and what event it will rise and how to handle it. This also we saw in part one. Then we talked about the example that we are going to create in this video. So this example we talked about in uh, previous video part two. Now we will create this uh, example using Eclipse IDE. Now it's a demo time. Here is the Eclipse Oxygen IDE. If you see here, we have two classes. One is main entry. Here we have public static void main and then we are creating J menu simple so this is the class we will create here j menu simple which will derive from uh, j frame so we are passing the title for the frame window then we are making it as a visible so these stuffs are explained in the very first video of this uh, swing video series then here we are setting the border layout and we changed this uh, set bounds uh, to so suit this example so if you want to know how to create uh, jframe you can watch the very first video in this uh, java swing video series now let me run this once so this is our jframe window so first we create menu bar so j menu bar so this one is from java x dot swing package so i am importing it so we hold the reference for j menu bar in menu bar after that we are making call to set j menu bar function on this j frame then we are passing our menu bar instance at this stage if i run this you won't see anything but towards the top if you see there will be a slight line since we don't have any menu uh, the swing layout manager decided this much space is sufficient for it why because we it doesn't display any menu title of course we haven't yet created any menu so now we have menu bar ready So the menu bar is hooked to J frame. That's why uh, in the previous run you saw a, a single line towards the top. So if I run this once, you can see this is the line I'm talking about. All right. So menu bar is ready. Next we are creating a two menu. One is file menu and another one is edit menu. So the J menu is also from JavaX.swing package. So we imported those. So J menu we imported. First we create a J menu and we pass a title to the constructor. So the first in this highlighted line we are creating the file menu next here we are uh, creating the edit menu after creating these two menu i mean the file menu and edit menu we are adding it to the menu bar and if you see first we created menu bar menu bar, menu bar is hooked to j frame window after this we created two menu and here we are establishing the relation between menu bar and menu so to the menu bar we are making call to add method then we are passing the menu j menu whatever we created so now our menu bar contains two menus 
named file and edit and the menu bar was already hooked to jframe window now this time if i run instead of showing a single line the frame window will show the menu bar with the titles file and edit now let me run this once and if you see now the line whatever you saw previously that got expanded so this is the space the menu bar is occupying then it, it displays two menus one is file and another one is edit but when i click file nothing happens well because these two menu does not contain any menu items that's why we are not seeing any pop-up window here now we will establish the relation that means we have a menu but uh, this menu has a title but it doesn't have any menu item to show that's why when we click nothing is happening now we are preparing the file menu so if you see our menu bar contains two menu one is file and edit now we are preparing the file menu that means we are creating the menu items so the j menu item is also from javax.swing package now i am importing it the j separator is also from javax.swing so this will place a horizontal line that separates open and save with uh, exit so here if you see we are creating j menu item and we name it as open then here we are creating one more menu item save then exit then we are creating separator so the creation order can be anything but in what order you add it to the file menu in the same order the menu items will appear if you see first i am adding open so open menu will i mean open menu item will appear first in the menu mnu file in the file menu then in the file menu save item will appear after that the separator will appear then finally we place exit now if i run edit menu will not show anything because we haven't yet added any menu items to the edit menu but when i i don't even click the file i just moved my cursor towards file and it shows the menu item so this rectangle is what called the pop-up menu so it contains two menu item open save and this one is the separator if you see here we created a separator right and we added that between save and exit so you see a separator line here in between save and exit so when i click nothing happens we haven't yet handled the click event of this menu item next we will prepare this edit menu so just like file menu here we prepare our edit menu so all are same but when we are adding this time we are adding it to the mnu edit that means to the second menu we are adding a cut copy and paste so we created that with the j menu item now if i hover my mouse to file so first uh, so now if i am hovering nothing is happening once i click any one menu so now i am clicking edit now if i move my cursor to file it will automatically open the next menu so now i am clicking here if i hover nothing happens but if i click at least one menu then when i hover my mouse the next menu will open its uh, menu items by showing the pop-up so here both the menus are ready now we will handle uh, the click event for open the procedure will be same for other menu items i am leaving it to your uh, practice so let me show how to implement a click for this open
so let me pick file open dot add action listener new so I just type the ACT or you don't need to type even anything just uh, type new then uh, hit the control space and it will show anonymous inner type so once you double click it will automatically place the anonymous inner class that means it will provide a skeleton code to the handler so here action performed handler method is ready here we can write any code we want so inside the handler code we use the j option pan from javax.swing package so this option pan is useful to show multiple dialogues so here uh, we are showing the message dialog likewise this utility class supports many other function so you can prompt a dialog to get some user input likewise there are other options so here we are using the show message dialog so in the show message dialog we are passing the instance of our frame window if you see our frame window is j menu simple since this is an anonymous inner class we cannot use this directly so if we use this that will represent this anonymous inner class which is a handling that means the action listener implementing class so that's what represented by this so since i am writing it here inside the action performed so i should not use this i have to use j menu simple that is the outer class name then i am using this so there are two this instance at this point one the this will denote the anonymous inner class j menu simple dot this will denote the outer class so i am passing the outer class instance then actually passing the message so that means the show message dialog for this show message dialog the parent is not this anonymous inner class the anonymous inner class is just to handle the uh, event the outer class j menu simple so that's the parent for this uh, message dialog and the message dialog will display opening the file so just now we handled the menu item for open so if you want to do that for uh, copy and paste just put my edit copy say for example for a copy menu item you are handling the event yeah my edit copy then put add action listener open bracket new then put the control space and choose action listener double click so that will provide a skeleton code then inside you can write code like this so here i'm just placing the show message dialog but in a real world the actual uh, program logic goes here all right now let me run this once so when i click open it will show opening the file so that's what uh, here we shown all right so now we saw the example here this is the menu bar file and editor menu and the menu contains menu items open save separator cut copy paste all these are menu items separator is a special menu item that's all here in this video thank you for watching bye